Yo, yo, YouTube. What's crack a lack a jack a smackin'? It's Waffle Man with a video, and welcome to episode 20 of the Thursday Talk series. And today we're going to be taking a look back at the days of the PS3. Why am I talking about this? Is because I haven't really noticed this, but you know, I kept a journal in English class. You know, we get actually no, we gave our teachers a journal in English class in seventh grade. And this English teacher gave us back our journals in 12th grade after we graduated. And I did not know that in this journal, I put a whole bunch of stuff about video games. I mean, I had Call of Duty 4 reviews, Killzone 2 reviews, I had freaking Uncharted 2 thoughts and, and, and you know, ideas. And I had all this stuff in my journal, especially talking about the Modern Warfare 2 and the game of the year and all that stuff, man. I, I had a whole bunch of stuff about video games in that journal. And I was like, man, the PS3 days were the days. I'll never forget playing the PS3 and playing all those games. I mean, I'll never forget when I first got my PS3. It was when I was graduating from elementary school in sixth grade in 2008. That's when I got my PS3. And my first game was Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, that's pretty weird if you think about it. Think about this. I'm in sixth grade. Going to 7th grade and I'm getting Grand Theft Auto 4. I mean, like, th that was crazy. How old was I? Like, 12 years old? 13? 14? I mean, actually, that was like, what, 6 years ago? So I'm 18. So I was like 12 years old getting Je Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh my god. That's insane. And my mom just went with it. Even the GameStop guy, I remember the GameStop guy saying, Are you sure you want your child to get this game? This game is very violent very explicit and somehow some way I got it and there were a lot of immature games at the time I can't believe I got all those games man but finally after all those all those years I, I can finally get M games by myself I can finally trade in games but that's not the point so Grand Theft Auto 4 was the only game I had for about three months actually no I also had NBA 07 but that game was completely trash oh my goodness compared to 2k in live what that game was terrible but yeah, for the whole summer, I basically played Grand Theft Auto 4. But the funny thing is, is I never beat Grand Theft Auto 4. I played the single player a lot, but really, I played the multiplayer like crazy. That multiplayer was so fun for the time. And remember, in 2008, the PS3 had almost no party system. There was like no party chat system. There was like no messaging. And remember this, if you had a PS3 between... 2006 and 2008 I believe or 2009 then if you wanted to send a message you would have to leave the game to send the message there was no XMB there was no in-game menu when you press the PS button the only options you had were to quit the game or to turn off your controller I mean PS3 was really bad before man but then you know we it got better it got it got way better let me tell you that right now they added a whole bunch of stuff it's crazy how you know the the evolution of P PlayStation 3 went, but I miss the PS3. I can say that right now. I'm on the PS4, but even for you Xbox One owners, you gotta miss your Xbox 360. You gotta miss the PS. You gotta miss the last gen consoles, man. I mean, so far, what games do we have? The same games like Battlefield and Call of Duty so far, and we have Killzone Shadowfall, which you know I like Killzone Shadowfall. Infamous Second Son, I played it and beat it and it sold it. Watch Dogs, played it, beat it, sold it. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, played, played it, beat it, sold it. So where are all the games that, that are going to stick? Even Titanfall. You know, Titanfall, I have it. Played it on the PC. It's a good game. But there's not enough in it. So where are the games that we used to have on the, on the last gen consoles? Even for 2K. 2K13 Online Association, 2K13 Gameplay? What about Cruise Mode, man? Come on. That was amazing on last gen. Those were the days I used to, and that was the first time I got 2K2. Like, I didn't have 2K for a long time. I didn't get 2K until 2K11. And you may think that's a long time ago, but really, it's not that long ago. I mean, 2K11, and remember 2K12? Oh my goodness, if you talk about 2K game having nothing, I think 2K12 was the worst 2Ks ever. Like, let's be real. But anyways, the PS3, man, those were, some of my funnest days, I mean, Grand Theft Auto 4 is one of them, but when I played Call of Duty World at War, that was my first Call of Duty game, 
It was a fun experience. And then zombies mode? What? Nobody thought about zombies mode. Everyone went crazy for zombies mode. And then I sold Call of Duty World at War. Then Killzone 2 came out. And actually, nah. Actually, let's, let's retrack, retrace our steps. Because Resistance 2 came out before that. And Resistance 2 had 60 player online. Yo, that was crazy. And 8 player co-op? Oh my goodness. I'm just getting goosebumps thinking about these games right now. I mean, that game... That game, and I used to sneak on to play that game. You know, my mom used to go to college, and I sneaked on to play that game. It was that amazing. And then Killzone 2 came out, and I played the shit out of Killzone 2. Let me tell you, Killzone 2 is, to this day, one of my favorite PS3 online games. That game was just spectacular, man. I mean, the clan system in that game was OD nice. I mean, I, I played that game for like, what? I played that game for more than... Nine days, ten days, man. Literally, that's like that's like over 400 hours right there, devoted to one game. And I mean, if you haven't played Killzone 2 online the clan system, the tournaments, oh my goodness, it's a it was amazing, man. And then we got the blockbusters like Uncharted 2. Woo! Don't even get me started on Uncharted 2, Metal Gear Solid 4. If you guys haven't played those games, man, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you gotta get on this. I know you guys. Uh, mainly 2k fans, but man This is why I love video games because there's some games out there that I just you gotta play And I, I wasn't even really a 2k gamer before but until a 2k 11 and 2k 12 and all that But still those games are really amazing and then we got after that, you know, Rockstar came out with Red Dead Redemption. Oh my goodness You know that game I, I, I rented that game at first and that was when Blockbuster was still around I mean, I'm talking about Blockbuster here. That's where I got Transformers War for Cybertron for like $20. And that game was amazing. Which led to me buying Transformers Fallout Cybertron was... Whew! Let me tell you something. These games, man. I'll never forget the PS3. And then, oh my goodness. I know I'm getting crazy right now, but I'm just getting hyped about these games, man. Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That shit was the bomb! Battlefield Bad Company 2. I played those games, oh, oh my goodness. First of all, Modern Warfare 2 had the the funnest multiplayer ever. The tactical nukes were crazy. I, I had like 58 tactical nukes, honestly. And, you know, the chopper gun and the Harrier missiles, oh goodness. And then the private matches, the quick scoping. Modern Warfare 2 was the best Modern Warfare, a Call of Duty game ever. Then we got Black Ops and Black Ops 2. I still like Black Ops, but Black Ops 2, I didn't really play that much. And the Modern Warfare 3 is probably the worst one ever. And you know, Ghost, you know, already, you already know about Ghost. I, it's it's alright, I barely played it. You know, I'm starting to stop playing Call of Duty games. But man, the games before were crazy. In Battlefield 3, I played that too. I got all the downloadable content for that game. And Battlefield 4, I rarely touch that much anymore. I don't know, man, what's going on with this game? But, yo, gaming used to be crazy before. And don't forget about Heavy Rain. That game was spectacular. Remember when Chris Move put up Heavy Rain gameplays? Oh my goodness, that was funny as hell. Like, there were some good games out there, man. I mean, come on. Max Payne 3. Batman, if you haven't played Batman, that's a good game to get. Infamous? You already know about Infamous. Well, I already played Infamous. But what about... Oh my goodness, there's just, there's just too many games, man. I mean, can we get a Dragon Ball Z game? On the PS4, no offense, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, take it, I don't care about it, I I'll say it, I'm a proud Dragon Ball Z fan, Budokai Tenkaichi was my favorite Dragon Ball Z games, we need more of that on the PS4 man, I'm waiting for these games to come out, what about Warhawk, anyone ever played Warhawk, 32 players online, I know not many people know about these games, some of these games I'm talking about, but still, the PS3 was an amazing system, man. I don't even know how the PS4 and the Xbox One can top those consoles. Like, Jesus, Little Big Planet 2? Little Big Planet? Oh, but actually, Little Big Planet 3 is gonna come out this year, so I can't wait for that game. And Battlefield Hall is actually delayed, so we're gonna see what's going on with Battlefield, but that actually gives space for more games like Destiny and 2K and Assassin's Creed again. So let's get going, man. I can't wait. And Journey? Oh my god, Bioshock Infinite? Which is one of the best first person shoes I've ever played. Oh my. Woo! I can't take it, man. But anyways, YouTube, give me your thoughts on all this greatness. The PS3, best days of my life, and I'm out. Peace.